another dimension from a different universe beyond infinity, and he fell to Earth with a bump into Mike King's wardrobe. It's not easy stepping out into an alien world where anything can happen. But who is the mysterious stranger who answers to the name of Angelo? Ask Rita King. Better still, ask her son Mike, whose world is turned upside down when Angelo comes to stay. What's the show? It's Mike and Angelo. Pardon the intrusion. I wonder if I could borrow a spot of milk. Oh, sure. Come on in, Mr. Kenneth. It's for my cornflakes. Ordering the milk's my wife's department. Oh, yeah. How is Mrs. Penner? Oh, she's all right. Who wouldn't be lying about all day with your feet up, watching <laughs> telly and eating yourself silly? Yeah, well, she is in hospital, Mr. Penner. Yes, but she's all right. I'm the one that's suffering. No milk, no food, the house turning into a tip. No one to iron my clothes or do the cooking. Why don't you do it then? I'll tell you what. Why don't you sit down? And I'll bring you a proper breakfast. Oh, I wouldn't say no to that. Thank you. <laughs> if my busy, busy daughter hasn't got the time to sit and eat, it's her lookout. Now you tuck in, Mr. Pinner. Waste not, want not. Ooh. <sighs> oh. This is very, very nice. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely bit of bacon. Mm. 1561 to 1626. Reduced for a quick sale, was it? No, 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 no. <laughs> Francis Bacon, the writer. This is a great book, Mr. P. Chock a block with fascinating people from history. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I know a bit about that myself. Look up the piece for Pinner. To Cedric the Pinner, my famous ancestor, 1234 to 1284. Um, he was the hero of the Battle of Lewis. Gee, you English. Sure are classy. Hmm, oh, yes. Cedric de Pinner, he was in all the history books. Hmm, well, he's not in this one. Chuchy rubbish. <laughs> My forebear almost won the Battle of Lewis single-handed. Mm, he must have been a heck of a brave guy. Yes, <laughs> of course, it runs in the family. Oh, I expect him and me would have had a lot in common. Mm. Couldn't he iron his shirts, either? <laughs> He was a flipping warrior, wasn't he? He was too busy chopping old people's heads to iron shirts. Mm. I'd love to have met him, though. How would you like to come over tonight? Mm. And I'll oh. cook you a nice dinner, Mr. Finner. Very nice. So-so. <laughs> Look, I'm not ready yet, but uh, why don't you come in and sit down and uh, take a weight off your briefcase? Uh, no, I think I'll just pop home and get changed. Oh, but you have to get spruced up on account of me. Well, Mr. P. Oh, that's the very man. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, ten minutes. Just give me ten minutes. Oh. Have I got something for you? Yes, I'm sure you have, but I don't want to catch it. Thank you so much. No, 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 you'll like this. Yes, you will. Come with me. Yes, but I... Oh, trust me. This is going to knock you sideways. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> you let go of my arm, for pity's sake. Up here, Mr. P. What is this? Yes, there. There she is. The Angelo Patent Pending Electrostatic Time Transmogrification Unit. <laughs> it's a time machine. Oh, yes. And I'm the king of China. 1371 to 1408. Get out of my way. Oh, no, honestly, it is. I made it specially for you. And what am I supposed to do with this pile of old junk? I'll show you. Now, you said you always wish you could meet Sir Cedric de Pinner. Well, now you can. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. He lived 700 years ago. I can bring him back. You ought to be locked up. I'll prove it. <laughs> yeah, I want them. Now. Cedric Dick Pinner. Cedric the Pinner. Hmm. Now, we've got to get a fix on him. We know he was at the Battle of Lewis, so we set my coordinator. Oh, this is ludicrous. 14th of May, 
1264. <laughs> right. Now, Mr. Cyril Pinner, central heating salesman, prepare to meet Sir Cedric de Pinner, warrior. Here, what the bloody oh. Sir Cedric, welcome, welcome, welcome to the 20th century. Upon my life, what happened? Where am I? Oh, now, don't worry, you're all right. No, it is a dream. I have been slain and have ascended to the lofty heights. Uh, it's only the attic, actually. So see, allow me to introduce your great, 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 Grandson, Mr. Cyril Pinner. Strike me down. Flaming Nora. It's real. I knew a flaming Nora once. A fine strapping wench with red hair and a goat. <laughs> <laughs> this really works. It's it is it's unbelievable. By <laughs> Harry. I'm still alive. You're in the future, that's all. Oh. My head swims. <gasps> the battle. Where went the battle? Oh, forget the battle. That was all over 700 years ago. All over 700 years ago? Really? Really? <laughs> oh, we did, of course. The pinners. Burning yarmulks. That's wonderful news. <gasps> I am inspired to compose a victory anthem. Oh. Give me a moment. Angelo, I take it all back. This machine is fantastic. <laughs> pinners, pinners, always the winners. Chasing the vagabonds, ruffians and sinners. Pinners are winners and winners are pinners with a hey, nonny, nonny, and a hey, nonny, ninners. <laughs> we vanquished the foe. Oh, 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 I really think we should, uh... What is it? What's that? Oh, uh, I'll get it! I'll get it! Hello? Hello? Yes? What? Who is it? Hi, Angela, it's me. Is something wrong? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Listen, will you ask Mother to come to the phone, please? Uh, she can't. Um, she's too busy in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> Mr. Dinner's coming to pin her. <laughs> Just go and ask her if she's been tidying up my briefcase. There seem to be a few things missing. Oh, all right, then. Hang on a minute. Look, you. Don't move a muscle. No. You stay there. And don't you touch. Mother! Come out of there, little person. <laughs> Show thyself. Mr. Pinner? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Tis Pinner, tis Pinner. Pretty, reveal thyself, pretty maid. <laughs> Mr. Pinner, have you been out the sherry? <laughs> Upon my soul, what could be so? Oh, than a heavenly voice that answers to Rita with a hey, nanny, nanny, and a hey, nanny, Rita. 
<laughs> They're in the bin, she says. Dinner's ready, got to go. Come on, you. I've got to get you back. Ooh. <laughs> what box of tricks is this? <laughs> Again! Oh. There's a box with birds in it. <laughs> Come on, pretty birdie. Pretty, 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 pretty birdie. Pretty. Please come on. You shouldn't be here. You're going to get us all into the most terrible. <laughs> Mr. Pinner. Oh, he's back. Say, when he said he was going home to change, he wasn't kidding, was he? <laughs> oh, um, uh, it's an old English custom. Mm. St. Wally's Day. He's a member of the ancient order of Wallies. Oh, so that's why he's dressed up like a Wally. <laughs> oh, oh, shh, shh, shh. All terribly hush, hush. Not allowed to talk about it. He could have his feather confiscated. Wouldn't want that to happen. Not a word. Oh. Butter me parsnips. Tis a beautiful wench. <laughs> Are you hungry, Mr. Pinner? Sweet lady, I am hungry for love. <laughs> I do hope you like Brussels sprouts, Mr. P. <laughs> A goblet of mead, Violet, to wash down the victuals. <laughs> A fine piece of fowl, my good woman. Uh, we've only got cola. Cola? Merlin and Hobgoblins, what biz in frothing witches brew is this? The devil take me. Tis some powerful potion. A flagon of cola for my lady. Drink. Drink and the Nelly, for tonight, methinks, there's romance oh. in the air. Uh, <laughs> do you care for some, uh, some dessert? <laughs> no. Thou never didst tell me thy name, fair maiden. Mr. Pinner, I really think this has gone far <laughs> enough. I, I... It's Nancy. Nancy! Now, would... would it... Nancy! <laughs> oh, oh, Nancy! Oh. I once met a damsel. And her name it was Nancy. She's a fine looking wench who has tickled me fancy. Mr. Pinner, you're a married man. I'll not mince me words. Sweet Nancy, thou hast fair captured me heart. Canst thou milk a goat or shoe a horse? If the answer's aye, then tomorrow we shall be wed at the first cock crows. Angela! One precious kiss of those cherry red lips, and I'll die a happy man. Then oh. hard to get, eh? Oh, goody, more stuff. And oh. his wife is in hospital, too! Hi, Grandma. Oh. <laughs> Which way did that saucy maiden go, young squire? Mr. Pinner? Through here, I'll be bound. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How'd the exam go? Forget the exam? What? Oh, that bad, huh? What's going on, man? Oh, um, it's a very long story. It all started 700 years ago. <laughs> oh, you were plucky made a no mistake. I, I'm, I'm gonna slap you! I like him frisky! <laughs> I warn you! I, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to use this. Just come one step nearer. <laughs> oh, what a sporty wench! The game's afoot! <laughs> what a firecracker you are! Sweet Nancy, let me make an honest woman of you. You lay off me, Buster! Or I'll make mincemeat out of you! Cooey, I know you're in there. 
Fair Nancy, sweet Nancy, wilt thou be mine? I hope you realize this is the last time you'll be invited to this house for dinner. Fair Nancy, sweet Nancy, wilt thou be mine? Oh, Angelo, we've got to get him back where he Nancy, came from. Get old Pinhead back here quick. You think I haven't tried? Well, try harder. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Cedric, uh, it's been a jolly good laugh. <laughs> We've all had a bundle of fun. <laughs> Surely you must be anxious to get back to good old 1264 and all that. You just, of course, go back there to that vile cesspit of an existence. Not on thy Nelly. I like it here and I'm staying put. I like best about the 20th century. It's the peace and tranquility. Mm -hmm. No noisy battles here. Mm, it's bliss. Perfect bliss. Hey, Barlet, a word in thy ear? <laughs> it's got to go, like now. Mom will be back soon. Grandma's locked herself in the john, and I dread to think what's happened to Mr. Pinner. I've tried everything. He won't budge. He loves all the mod cons and gadgets. He keeps going on about how wonderful and peaceful it all is here. Peaceful, eh? No battles. No one attacking him. We'll have to see about that. Listen. You think you could do it? Is the sky blue? Not at the moment, no. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to me. going home. If you see Mr. Pinner, tell him not to worry. Help is at hand. We're trying to get him back. Yes, Violet, and take me hence away from this world of madness. <laughs> and so Home. You've uh, missed dinner, I'm afraid, but... Um, Are you OK, Mr. Pinner? Well, what do you think? <laughs> it's the state of me. This is the last time I ever set foot in this flipping nut house. Get out of my way. Oh, thank goodness for you, dear lady. A beacon of sanity and a world gone mad. Oh, you horrible little man! <laughs> Grandma, what happened to Mr. Pinner? I'll tell you what happened to Mr. Pinner. Mr. Pinner is history! Oh. <laughs> Mike and Angelo will be back same time next week, but next this afternoon it's Rolf's Cartoon Club with special guest animator Tony White, whose work includes The Pink Panther. On next week's show... Oh, he was right. They really do fall at your feet. Must get myself a crate of that stuff. Wait. What happened? Hello. The 
Come on, my mate, Irving.